Mayor Brandon Johnson now and Police Superintendent Larry Snelling saying there's a lot of work to do to address gun violence and crime fighting in Chicago. It was a very, very violent weekend here and a lot of people around the city are wondering what exactly can be done about this. So Fox 32 political correspondent Paris Schutz is here uh, to just dive a little bit deeper into this conversation that so many people are talking about when you get statistics that say 109 people were shot over one weekend. It's There's shocking. an issue. It's shocking and, and Anita you hit it on the head. How many times have we seen a Chicago mayor come out and give a press conference after a violent summer weekend yeah. saying we need to do things differently. This is terrible. This is unacceptable. But then the same thing keeps happening. So there is no magic potion mm -hmm. to cure violence in the city of Chicago. 109 shot is ex extremely uh, uh, violent weekend in Chicago and gun violence had been down this year. Now what Brandon Johnson had said was that there would be a victim assistance center as you see here at Racine to help victims of gun violence. He also said that he wants more federal help and here's the thing I talked to an official in the White House right after this he said we heard it mm -hmm. but the thing is we are already giving the city help. Uh, this is the new Office of Gun Violence Prevention. It's under Vice President Kamala Harris in the White House and this is their job to coordinate a response to this kind of gun violence in cities like Chicago. He said they were on the phone with Mayor Johnson's team all weekend. They talked to the Department of Justice. They talked to Health and Human Services. They are ready uh, to respond to this. And let's hear from Greg Jackson, who is the Deputy Director of the Department of Gun Violence uh, Prevention at the White House. The major thing is that there's resources for victims um, and specifically financial reimbursement um, for those who have been traumatized and, and those who have been impacted to help with um, hospital care to help with any burial or funeral costs. If there's an additional resource need for investigative support um, or just whatever it takes to solve these crimes uh, and hold those accountable. The federal government's here to help support and supplement those dollars. So you asked what, what new can be done? This is new. This mm -hmm. office opened up in 2023 under President Biden. So Mayor Johnson is in effect the first mayor that can take advantage of a coordinated federal effort to come in and help uh, deal with gun violence with, as you heard, victim assistance, mm -hmm. uh, um, more resources for violence intervention workers, uh, and then more money potentially for investigating, for the C CPD, because the CPD, this is another part of the problem, the clearance rate. They don't solve a yeah, lot of these right. murders. So they need more resources to do that. The federal government said, we're going to do this. Uh, speaking of violence intervention, it's something that is already being done uh, in this city. It's been done for years, uh, but as we spoke to one prominent uh, organization, they said there is still a need for more. It's not enough only because, you know, the volume is so great, but it's a start. We have to start somewhere. And, you know, people have to have a safe place to go to address the trauma that they have. And, you know, we have to get to a point where everyone doesn't feel the need to have a gun. And also we have to get to a point where people don't uh, address their conflicts with gun violence. So the violence intervention workers, these are folks uh, many times uh, that have the uh, gang backgrounds themselves, mm -hmm. they're reformed, mm -hmm. they went to jail, maybe they have gun charges in their past, and now they go out into the street and they try to work with these young people and try to divert them from gun violence, try to get them mentorship, try to get them jobs. This is really, really important work. Uh, another important aspect of this is trust between the community yeah. and the police department. We know that uh, a lot of community members do not go uh, talk to the police. Mm -hmm. You heard Superintendent Stelling say, we know, that, work with we know us. that you know something. We know something. that you know something, right. but the, uh, trust is part of this. And so there's a new Inspector General report out just this morning that goes to that uh, issue of trust, and it says that there's still a problem here with uh, extremists in the Chicago Police mm -hmm. Department. Uh, a handful of police officers with ties to these right-wing extremist groups like Proud Boys and Oath Keepers. And she's saying that the mayor has not done enough to root those out. The police department has not fired any of those officers. Right. She's saying CPD needs to get those investigations going again and remove some of those officers because it is imperative right. for trust between the department in the community. Yeah, that was an issue as Larry Snelling was taking the position as superintendent that he was already uh, confronted with coming in the door. You know, it's a very complex yeah. um, issue when you talk about gun violence or, or crime in a city of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. So yes, you're talking about federal dollars here. You're talking about community work with police, trust there, um, and, and prevention. You know, because a mm -hmm. lot of these things come on the opposite side of the crime already taking place and people being traumatized. Right, right. Well, let's talk about the other uh, piece that Mayor Johnson 
always talks about was this is decades and decades mm -hmm. in the making. He's not wrong about that. When you when you have the this, the kind of segregation, the, the history of racism in the city of Chicago, uh, but also the history of uh, poverty mm -hmm. uh, in certain communities, this is what's going to happen. It takes years and years to get out of it. Although Mayor Johnson has been in office a year now, he keeps talking about the past. Mm -hmm. well, I think. Citizens want to see the fact that their mayor is owning this and saying, okay, right. we know the past, but I own this problem now, and here's what I'm doing about yeah. it. Yeah, want to see some results. And, and I, I want to say that we're going to have more on that IG report uh, in about uh, 20 minutes so with the Inspector General to talk about this problem of extremism in the CPD. It is big. Mm -hmm. Yes, Paris, thanks so much for your right. time this morning. Thank you.